What is going on everyone? It is Foulplay here. I'm coming back again for another league, another week, uh, getting back into the good stuff. Alright, so last league we did pretty well. We went 4 and one with the deck. Uh, we were running Leyline main deck, and I'm going to continue doing that here today. Uh, main deck uh, changes include me removing one Sentinel's Eyes uh, for this second Spirit Link. Um, and with the sideboard... I've removed my two Torpor Orbs, I've added in an extra Rest in Peace, an extra Suppression Field, um, and an extra Force of Vigor, removing uh, one path to Exile also. Other than that, uh, just a quick premise on the deck is obviously we've got the main deck Leyline of Sanctity, so we're running all the Glitters to sort of maximize on that extra enchantment that comes out for free. Um, figure with the Spirit Links, there's a bit, bit of Burn and Prowess in there around the place, but... Um, I think probably Spirit Link's going to be good enough most of the time as opposed to the one of uh, Sentinel's Eyes. Which adds like the fifth source of Vigilance, but I like the idea of enchanting my opponents uh, Idle One of the Great Revel. I don't know about you guys. Enchanting that Idle One and gain life every time you or they cast a spell. I mean, our spells are technically life neutral, but um, gaining life obviously when they cast their own spells. Um... Now we've got obviously Griffstones in here for removal. Uh, we've got two Spider Umbra here in here for extra totem armor. And like most people that run, uh, or most lists I see online running four Spider Umbra, I definitely am a big fan of First Strike. Uh, it's way more relevant than the Reach. Um, makes it easier for you to avoid uh, having auras fall off during combat if you've got First Strike. Like, I just really can't speak highly enough of it. Other than that, we're running 11 creatures, with three of them being core, um, the standard hexproof guys. And yeah, standard ethereal, rancor, daybreak, all play sets. Alright, let's get into this one. Alright, so here we are for match number one. Uh, we won the dire we're going to be on the play, and we got this hand with no creatures uh, from the mulligan. Also, uh, I obviously know that I don't have, uh, I can't use uh, Lurus game one. Uh, but I still think it's sort of over, overall worth trialing still currently. Alright, we're going to keep this hand, we're going to ditch Dried Arbor, we're going to ditch Horizon Canopy, and we're going to keep the rest. Uh, now I don't know if I'm going to want to fetch a Dried Arbor, if I'm going to get Jund or something, play around Liliana of the Veil, or fetch a Basic if I'm against Ponza. So we're just going to lead with the Horizon Canopy there, take that one extra point of damage, and yeah, we should be pretty fine. Pithing Needle. Ooh. You naming Windswept Heath? This is gonna blow us out so hard if he does. Damn. Um. <laughs> that's a little bit upsetting. Uh, Alright, let's get in there for two. So, Dark Slick Shores into Pithing Needle. This could be like a Fairy deck, or it could just be a Blue Black Control deck. Blue Black Control decks have been uh, popping up a little bit more recently. Uh, looks like my opponent is playing Lantern. Okay. And he's got the Codex Shredder. Uh, I'm gonna like go out on a limb here and say game one does not look too promising for us. I've asked like a lot of Lantern decks in the past, um, back, back when I was playing in paper and things like that. Um, there's like a very very good player that used to be on like the Australia team that used to play Lantern all the time um, I can safely say it's a bad matchup for Vogels Post board we do have access to things like Ensnaring Bridge um, uh, Sorry like um, Force of Vigor which destroys Ensnaring Bridge, but uh, overall it's a bit of a rough one for us uh, So at the moment our opponents filtering our draws and I think they know about this Daybreak Coronet. Uh, they obviously milled the Horizon Canopy to the Graveyard to keep us off 2 mana. We have got them down to 9, but they're probably at the point where they're just going to wear of invention into an Ensnaring Bridge and our game's going to be over. Alright, so here's the Worm. Here's the Bridge. And we have no way to bre beat Bridge Game 1, so... Alright, we're going to concede this one. That's freaking what it is. It this happens, like, when, when you're versing Lantern, this happens. 
Because they have were. I mean, a lot of tutor cards will tutor to hand, not to the battlefield, but were just tutors to the battlefield at instant speed. Um, I, re I really don't like the card design. I, I really think it's a stupid card design. Uh, but it is what it is, obviously. Alright, so... I mean, our suppression fields seem like very, very good against our opponent. They shut off a lot of what they're doing. Obviously, Force of Vigor, Seal of Primordium going to be good. Leyline of Sanctity might stop some Thought Seize, some Discard, but overall it's probably not going to be good enough. I don't see Spirit Link being good enough either. Uh, the question is, do we want anything else from our Graveyard? Knowing that our opponent can potentially have access to uh, Emery and use that Emery to bring stuff back from the Grave. Uh, it could be worthwhile bringing in these rest in peace as well. Or at least, like, two of the rest in peace. Um, we could bring in, like, Gadoktig because it stops them casting potentially Khan the Great Creator. I haven't seen any lists recently. I don't know if they're playing Khan the Great Creator or not. Uh, but it's something to be aware of. Um, like, Grisburn's sort of pretty weak. I think we just minus the grist burns and we'll get into it. So a fairly heavy board there, bringing in nine cards, taking out nine. All right, we select our companion. This hand's looking pretty good. Let's keep it. And uh, I mean, obviously, we're just gonna play around that piffing needle, which. Arguably won our opponent the game last game. We got two hate pieces and two really strong auras, and our ethereal armor gets buffed from our hate cards as well. Opponent has mulligan to fight. One of these. Get up my little chat box thing. Cover it up, make it look all pretty. Probably like not not the most relevant thing here. Opponent like blind naming when swept teeth there was a little bit savage. We might have actually been quick enough to kill them with the uh, core spirit dancer if they'd not. Inquisition of Kozilek, here it comes. Alright, what are you taking, opponent? What do you want? I'm probably just jamming Suppression Field here. Um, if I'm given the chance, my opponents take it away, the Suppression Field. Of course, Spirit Dancer is also an extremely good card to jam here. They could have a Fatal Push for it, but I mean, they have it, they have it. Wonderful. I mean, yeah, this, this graveyard hate is absolutely number one A plus, man. Cool. Uh, excellent tech. I mean, we haven't had to play around Spell Sky in how many years? Jesus, this is like going back about five years here. Where this card actually saw play. Obviously, if we had Suppression Field, we could play around that. If we played the Ethereal Armor out, we would have played around it. I want it to be, like, sort of mana efficient, though. And we're not, like, hitting a third land. If we hit a third land, we can get Suppression Field back from the graveyard over several turns. Um, at the moment, though, I mean... May maybe I just... Play it out anyway. Uh, I think we look for another land drop here. This is like sort of awkward here um, because we are actually helping our opponent. We are still a few turns off of uh, even putting Luris into hand, but I do think we need to draw a card here. Okay. We make our land drop. Interestingly enough, if your opponent does the active on the spell sky, um, and you remove the spell sky in response, 
the it won't redirect to spell Skype because spell Skype's not a legal target if you kill it quick enough. Um, and then it will just resolve onto your creature. Uh, here I think we're just stuffed because we've given our opponent way too many turns to just lock us out with whatever they can. They do only have two cards in hand. Uh, I guess they just kept something where spell Skype was strong. Alright, um, well, they're thinking through their turn a little bit. Does this mean they've got, like, a whir of invention, or, like, what's, what's the go here? They're not even, like, willing to attack, which either makes sense or doesn't, I guess, uh, depends on their hand. Uh, I really hope they don't have another discard spell here, because if they take this Lurus away, we just lose. However, if this is worth a one, okay. So they've got the Lantern of Insight. You know about uh, Academy Runes, they've played Academy Runes. I guess like we could have played out game one a bit longer to get more card information about maybe like new inclusions that the deck's got. Um, but realistically game one was lost, like we all know it, we can't beat that card. <clears throat> Suppression field on top of our library. Um, so don't forget our opponent can uh, mill that to the grave. Just go ahead and take this turn to play out our Lurus. If he's got the Fatal Push, he's got the Fatal Push. Um, same with the whole Core Spirit Dancer thing. Yeah, if we get these Suppression fields online, opponent's got nothing in hand here. He's holding like one extra land. Uh, we'll be in a very, very good spot here. But it's got to decide whether or not to Codex Shredder himself or me. He got another Wurf. Assassin's Trophy. Yeah, right on time. Perfect. Never didn't have it. Alright, well, I guess now we might as well play out this Rest in Peace here, because there's literally no point not doing that. Uh, opponent milled Rest in Peace? We, you know about one in hand, man. He got really lucky, because he's hit a second suppression field here. Off the top. Uh, this, this is absurd. Cool. Alright, well, why my opponent's only got one Codex Shredder, we can actually use our Horizon Canopy to draw a card in response. Uh, but we're drawing to, I guess, like, three lots of Artifact Destruction. Um, and we're also drawing to a Suppression Field, potentially. Alright, opponents are willing to stack like three lanterns. They can shuffle the lantern to get rid of one of our draws. Um, there's potential here that we... I don't know, we want to save our auras for like a war with our opponent. So now, from that, that doesn't do much. Okay. Because we can draw cards instant speed with this Horizon Canopy. The problem is he can shuffle with Lantern. On top of like milling cards, he can shuffle with Lantern. But while he's only got one Codex Shredder sort of effect, we do have a small, small chance. Hey, I would be very, very happy to draw this Core Spirit Dancer here. Even if I'm throwing auras at my opponent's creature, if he lets me draw this, this puts us in an extremely good spot. Alright, what's she gonna do, opponent? What's she gonna do? Uh, I think we take the shuffle. 
Another cool spirit dance is sweet. Uh, again, we'll take that. Uh, if we do that, he just um, sacks another lantern in response, then we're no further to getting anywhere we want to be. Um, Alright, so... We'll look to draw two cards. Always yes, always yield. Opponent will probably redirect this. Uh, let us draw the Daybreak Coronet, and then he might mill the next card. Always yes. And I'm like, sort of okay with this at this point, I think. Um, because I can still draw a card off the top. Like, obviously I'm making a giant spell skite here, but the idea is to get an artifact to uh, kill the spell skite, right? He's probably going to start attacking soon, though. Alright, so he was patient with his Codex Shredder. He's now targeting himself in his upkeep. So he's looking for something better. He's found another lantern on top. Alright, well this is a pretty easy block. We'll just trade a scout for it. Awful draw. Look at how, like, our opponents had literally nothing this game, but spell skites just won up for them. That is so annoying. If we, if we ethereal armor turn two, this game's already over. Cool. What are you gonna do to this one, opponent? What are you gonna do to this one? We get now two draws to get our force of vigor. Which means our opponent will have to lose both lanterns if you... Wow, we get it? Okay, that's huge. Alright, well, we'll pass for our opponent, and then we'll force a vigor on. We'll get rid of the spell sky, and we'll get rid of the Kodak Shredder. And she'll be pretty fine and dandy from there. Get rid of Spell Scout, get rid of Codex Shredder before they have any more information. He's trying to redirect it. He can't redirect this. Um, I'm pretty sure he needs two legal targets uh, and he can't redirect the same thing onto Spell Scout here. Yeah. Uh, I, I suppose it's worth trying for our opponent, but like that's just not something that's allowed. Alright, so now our opponent thought sees on top. He draws the thought sees. He can take away an aura, but it's not going to be good enough. We've got a uh, double one mana aura. We're drawing another uh, aura that enables the daybreak coronets. We're just holding gas. We just win this game at this point. Opponent can see. Alright. So that was sort of fortunate. Um, that is a very annoying card to be facing. Rest in peace did stop the academy runes from just like bringing artifacts back, so I think rest in peace is fine here. Um, I don't think we want to play around Fort Seas. I think we've sided in enough cards. If we side in any more, we're overboarding. So we're just going to run this list back. Um, I think it's pretty solid with what it's doing. Alright, so we were very fortunate to get out of that and that our opponent like just drew nothing continuously, but I mean, we'll take it, right? Um, opponent mod to 6, we also mod to 6, we're gonna mod to 5, uh, whatever, let's keep this one. Bottom of land, bottom ethereal armor, done. 
We, we can go in on a dried arbor. It's not like the preferred method, but we can do it. Play it with the turn one ancient stirrings. They're advancing their board state instead of disrupting our own. Alright, well, we'll pass the turn. And we can do Dried Arbor into Suppression Field. Or not. Well, the fact he's doing this means that he can't... Um, he can't kill my creature, he can't spell Sky. So this is sort of all fine. Get our dried arbor. Hey, a rankle. Alright, so just go ahead and give double totem armor, make it nice and safe. Let's see what other discard effects our opponent might potentially have. There's the Codex Shredder. He let us draw. Interesting. So we might as well get our attacks in while we can. Making him self mill. Alright. Back for six. Potentially got a three turn clock here. I must say, like, suppression field makes this game. A little bit easier. This matchup. Um, I think we don't want Core Spirit Dancer, we want land. Uh, given that's what we drew, um, I think it's fine just attacking... Attacking again for 6 damage. Missing an aura drop because uh, we're loaded up with green auras at the moment. How awkward. Making himself a miller card. Uh, the fact he's like aggressively doing this means he's probably looking for the answer here right now. Alright, another codex shredder. He's not got the ensnaring bridge, we do just kill him. I don't know what garbage hand our opponent kept here, but... Uh, it doesn't seem good, like, turn one stirring is into turn two Ioc, like, what... What is that accomplishing? I think if we're reversing a better play with this, player with this deck, we'd just be dead. Um, like, like I said, uh, I haven't played this matchup against, um, my mate here in Adelaide since Lurus got printed, but... I mean, th this is not indicative of how the matchup goes against a good player. Um, against a good player, you just, you're under the pump, like, from, from turn two, from turn three, you're just in a lot of trouble. Um, and, and yeah, like, he, he needs to mulligan to a better hand than this. This is not, this is not good enough at all. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to complain too much. Uh, I'm just... I'm very happy to be winning the match. I just want to give you guys a realistic outlook on the matchup as it is. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. If you did enjoy it, uh, if you are enjoying the content, make sure, uh, you know, leave a like, leave a follow, all that good stuff. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, have a great day. I'll see you next time. Cheers.